Okay, last piece of this example, still using the same reaction where we're roasting zinc sulfide, but now they've changed something on us. They're now talking about 0.96 grams of zinc oxide, this. Well, the ratio is still, remember before we were doing 878.2 kilojoules for every two moles of zinc sulfide? Now it's 878.2 kilojoules per two moles of zinc oxide, so the number is not going to change. It's still going to be a delta H, if you're using delta H, of minus 439.1 kilojoules. It's just going to be per mole of zinc oxide instead of zinc sulfide. So numerically, it isn't as different as you might think. Um, the other thing that they're doing to us again is they aren't giving us the moles of zinc, zinc oxide, they're giving us its mass instead. So we get to do number of moles equals mass divided by molar mass equals 0 0.96 grams divided by, uh, let's see, zinc is 6541, oxygen 16 on the nose, 8141. So 0 0.96, 0 0.96 divided by 8141 tells us we have 0 0.011792 moles of zinc oxide. Okay, so if we use the formula, N delta H number of moles is 0 0.011792 and the delta H is 439.1 kilojoules per mole. I guess if I'm doing units for this one I should do units over here also. Moles cancel and we get 5.177938, etc. kilojoules is the total energy. Uh, to polish that answer up, this only has two significant digits, so this should get trimmed down to two significant digits. It should only be 5.2 kilojoules. And there's one more little thing missing from this answer. Do you see what it might be? They just said enthalpy change, meaning they aren't they aren't considering it a given which way the energy is going, so we should be saying this is exothermic, it's releasing energy, the delta H should be negative. Or if you want, whoops, sorry, say 5.2 kilojoules released. Don't put a negative sign and say it's released, that'll confuse people. Use one or the other.